Hi, welcome to Katibu 5 video tutorial. Now the muffler or silencer exercise in Katibu 5 and I've used for those two surfaces and this surface a face plant with a limit curve and a spine because with a sweep I can't do it in Katibu. So let's have fun with Katibu 5. Let's start with a sketch on the Y set plane. Hide as usual those yellow projected elements. Yeah, that was still on like this. I need a rectangle and I want, don't want to use those constraints, therefore I will delete them. Now, that distance should be 300 and this one should be 400. I want it to be symmetric to the axis system in both directions. Then I need a line to trim that object, go for your quick trim like this, add two dimensions from this point to that line. It should be maybe 180 and another one from this line to that point which should be 280. Now I want to fill it all corners, therefore I want to use my user selection filter, select all points, go to that fillet or corner and this should be 90 millimeter radius and all corners are filleted. Leave that sketch. Then I will need a sketch or a wireframe circle on that plane, so go for a circle. Support plane would be this one. And this should be center and radius, yes. And the center would be on that x axis, and it should be create a point at x minus 300 minus 90 is 210 and y should be 0 and z should be 0 as well. Yeah. Confirm. And the radius should be 300. And I want it to be somewhere over here. So uh, let's move that one just to estimate that angle. So this would be 260 would be okay. And this would be at 100. And I could of course even make it a smaller one. Let's go for 130. And that would be 230. Like this, for example. That should do. And confirm. Now, of course, this circle should be in that geometrical set. In order to make a surface with a draft angle I will use a sweep. So let's make this or first go to the surfaces and make an extrude with that curve here. So go for an extrude, make it symmetric mirrored extent and let's go for of course that direction here that should cover this one 225 that's okay and confirm. Now, let's go to the sweeps 
and I need a sweep, a line sweep with a draft direction. The guide curve would be this one here. The draft direction would be that plane. And I want to go for two degrees. Let's make it 20 just to make it better visible. I want to go for this option, bring it back to do two degrees. And of course, the length should be 40 millimeter. That's okay. Now I want to use this one as limit curve. Therefore, I want to go for an extract. Let's make this the active one and go for an extract. Go for tangent continued propagation. Select this edge and confirm. Then I could isolate that and use that sweep and make it up to that surface. But it should be associative, so I want to do a new sweep. Let's hide this one. Same sweep, but the limitation is that surface. So go for another sweep, same one as before. That's the guide curve. That's the draft direction. Two degrees, that's okay. Let's make it again 20 to see the solution better. Let's go for two degrees. And it should go up to this one. Preview. Looks good. And confirm. Now I can do that face fillet. Yep. So that sweep is here. Should go there. And next would be a surface. And I want to go for a face blend with a limit curve and a spine. So maybe switch to with edges like this. Okay. Now let's go for the face blend. That would be that shape fillet here in Katia. I want to go for bi tangent fillet. First support would be this surface here. Turn that around in just in case. And the second surface would be that sweep. Direction is okay. It goes to the inside, goes down, yes. Then go for more and select that hold curve. And that hold curve would be this curve here. And the spine, you could go for this one or for that one. I will go for this one as spine and see if it works. Preview. Looks pretty good. And confirm. Quite nice. Let's hide this one. I can hide that one as well. And I will use this one. Okay, now I need an arc. Over here I can do it with an extruder. I could go for an arc. Let's go for an arc. It's kind of convenient. So let's go for an arc. And the center of that arc, the support would be somehow this plane, because that's parallel. Let's go for a point, and that point would be at x0, y would be minus minus 230, that's the half of 400 plus 30, that's okay, set would be zero. Okay, so it's over here. Now let's adjust that. So this should be with 270 degrees, yes, and that should be 180 in this case, I suppose. Yeah. No, it's not 180, it's 90. 90 degrees. And of course, you just could type the value here. This looks 
good, but the radius should be 28. Nice. Now I need a parallel one and an extrude. Let's go for an extrude. So go for an extrude with this one. Direction would be that one. Turn it around. I'll just make this zero and take a look. Now reverse it and that could go up to this face or any value you want. Let's go for 50. Okay. Then I need a parallel curve to this one. Just move this here. That seems to be okay, yes. And I need a parallel curve. That would be, no. Yeah, that's parallel curve. This curve should be on that surface and the distance should be five millimeter. In which direction? In that direction and okay and now I can do a shape fillet and that would be the first support that would be the second support go for more go for again that hold curve this would be the hold curve and I can use this as spine as well Let's see if this works. Make sure those arrows point in the correct direction. That should go, this one should go up. This one should go up as well in this case. Make a preview. Looks pretty good and confirm. So this should be one surface which should be in that geometrical set right here. Okay, now I want to use here. Can I go for a circle? Therefore, I would need a plane somehow. So let's see, can we do a plane here? Offset from plane, nope. Angle normal to plane. Can I select that as rotation axis? Yes, I can. Reference would be this plane here and the angle would be 90 degrees of course. So now I can do another circle. Let's put that plane into the reference set. Go for the curves. Go to circle and I want to use center radius. Yes, support would be this plane. Radius would be 28. Yes and the center. The center is... Uh, let's go for create a point. It's somehow quick and dirty but it works. So go for between and select that point here and this point over there. And go for the middle point and confirm. Now let's adjust the angles. So this looks good and confirm. Let's do another extrude with that circle here in that direction. So that would be this direction and Turn it around and make it 30 millimeter. Of course, I could use that for parallel curve as well. So that extrude should go here. Now go for that parallel curve once more. Parallel curve. I want to offset this edge here. And it should be on that surface. And direction is okay. 5 millimeters is okay and confirm. Let's do another shape fillet. Move this up to the curves and go for that shape fillet. Select first service, 
surface, second surface, go for more, go for that hold curve, that would be this one, and select a spine the same. And make sure those arrows point in the correct direction. This should be in that direction, that should be also in that direction. And let's confirm. Great. That fillet should go here. Now I could hide all curves, all sketches, all sweeps, they're already hidden, and just mirror that surface. So go for symmetry. This should be mirrored uh, with this plane here. And confirm. Now join those two surfaces and I'm done. So I hope it was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.